What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. I got a question for you. How often do you game on your mobile device? We're talking iPhone, Android, tablets. Do you game on them regularly? I really don't. And I have pretty much every type of mobile device on earth. Now there's a lot of speculation that in the near future, mobile devices are going to be more powerful than the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. That's right. You've heard me correctly. Mobile devices will be more powerful than the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One in 2017. ARM forecast this. I'll drop a link in the description. That supercomputer in your pocket will soon make Sony's and Microsoft's latest home gaming consoles look old and crusty. ARM, the technology design company responsible for the chip architecture and mobile devices, is preparing for another big leap in computational power for smartphones and tablets. At the Casual Connect conference in Amsterdam this week, ARM ecosystem director Nariz Romdan explained that the chips that his company creates with partners like NVIDIA, Samsung, and Texas Instruments will generate visuals on par with then surpass what you get from the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One consoles by the end of the year of 2017. That means we're about a year away from having smartphones and tablets that are capable of running the same games, at least graphically, that we previously bought dedicated gaming hardware for. This could bring more hardware players into the $30 billion mobile gaming market but it could also power the software for mobile virtual reality. Tech advisor DG Capital predicts VR and AR gaming on all platforms could generate $10 billion in revenue by 2020. Quote, mobile hardware is already powerful. If you take today's high-end smartphone or tablet, the performance is already better than Xbox 360 and PS3. It's catching up quickly to the Xbox One and PS4, said Romdon at Casual Connect Europe. To illustrate his point, Romdon included a chart that shows the relative power of consoles like Xbox 360, Xbox One, and PS4 in terms of their capability to calculate floating point operations per second, or FLOPs. The PS4 can compute about 1.84 teraflops, and the chart shows smartphone chips approaching 2 teraflops by the last quarter of 2017. Of course, this does not mean that publisher Ubisoft will start exclusively releasing new Assassin's Creed games for smartphones. This is particularly because the audience is different on mobile. But it is also because the form factor of a touchscreen-only device requires different kinds of human software interactions. Ramdan points out that virtual reality eliminates that form factor difference. Wearing a headset on your face is the same if you're tethered to a PC or using your Galaxy S6. Quote, Our view is that mobile VR is the use case that could unlock the potential of mobile for hardcore gamers. For once, mobile devices are on par with PC and consoles in terms of experience when it comes to the form factor of VR. We won't have the same processing, and battery life is a problem, but it is the same user experience that could be a game changer for mobile gaming. This actually is a pretty interesting article for a couple of reasons. Now, my first impulse was to say, ah, uh, I call bullshit. Uh, it's not going to work because you can't play a mobile game the way you can a console or PC game. Uh, even though there are some really graphically, really intense games, like on my phone, I have a Sony Xperia Z3, has really, really nice graphics, nice little processor in the phone. Uh, I don't like to play games on it because I don't like playing games on touch screens. That's the big disconnect for me with mobile gaming. On my iPad, I don't like to play games because it's a touch screen. Uh, on my phone, I don't like to play games because it's a touch screen. I'd much rather have my Vita in my hand or my 3DS XL in my hand. And so, they've decided, or at least they are projecting, that mobile VR could be the catalyst that brings hardcore gamers over to the mobile space. And that's a very reasonable assumption. Now, if I could put on a headset and play a game in the VR space from my phone, that would be totally awesome. And that could be a catalyst that pulls hardcore gamers away from consoles and PCs. I had a conversation with my older brother today, and he he's kind of late to everything. He used to be a real gamer like me. He used to play video games all the time, but now his mind is still, he likes to play Super Nintendo. He gave me a call earlier today, and we were talking about the Oculus Rift, and he was watching some uh, YouTube videos of people's reactions playing it, and it really got him excited. And so we talked about it for a while, and he was asking me about the PlayStation VR, and I told him that, yeah, it's going to be coming out. It probably won't be as powerful as the Oculus Rift, but it'll be game-centric. Even though the Oculus Rift might be more powerful, it's going to have other applications. And he's really super excited about it. And so he's going to get that on his PS4. He's really amped for it. I believe that VR is definitely the future of gaming. It's what we've always wanted. Who has not wanted to be inside of a different world and interacting in that world in real-time 3D space? 
That is the ultimate getaway. That is the true Total Recall. That is. If you guys have ever seen Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger or the crappy remake, basically he wanted to go to a different world and live a different kind of life. And with VR, that's actually possible. And I'm guessing within the next 10 years, we might actually be able to truly do that. Put on a headset and go live a different life and have a different experience than we can in our real life. And so with this push forward with technology, if 2017 comes and mobile devices are as powerful as PS4s and Xbox Ones, and you can put a headset on and play, yeah, I might actually do that. So I actually give nice kudos to this article. I think it's really awesome. If they're able to really get that much out of this technology in the next two years, we've got a great time coming in the mobile gaming space. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. If mobile technology is as good as the PS4 and Xbox One or better within the next two years, would you be looking to do some mobile VR gaming? Let me know below in the comment section. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the Beastly Gamer channel, share the video on all your favorite social media sites, and definitely, definitely subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.